I am Anil Kumar. Let us prepare for complex numbers. The question here is, without using a calculator, arrange the following from greatest to least. So we have square root of 5 times square root of 5 plus 1, square root of 5 times square root of 5 minus 1. Then we have square root of 5 plus 1 whole square and square root of 5 minus 1 whole square. So we are given these four numbers. You have to arrange them from greatest to least. You can pause the video, find the answer, and then look into my suggestions. So the numbers which we are working with are square root of 5 times square root of 5 plus 1. Then we have a square root of 5 times square root of 5 minus 1. And we have square root of 5 plus 1 whole square. And we do have square root of 5 minus 1 whole square. So these are the four numbers to be arranged. How will you do it? Right? So we are not supposed to use calculator. Now one way to look into it is kind of like this. We can kind of estimate that uh, what is square root of 5? Square root of 5 is, uh, uh, where should I write? Let me write down um, on the side. So let's say, let's, let's say we, we write here. So first step is we could kind of estimate. What is square root of 5? Now square root of 5 is, uh, we know 2 square is 4, right? And we know 3 square is 9. So square root of 5 is slightly more than 2. So what we say here is that square root of 5 is, uh, is uh, 2 point something something maybe one maybe two whatever so we say uh, slightly more than two right so we say approximately two but but on the higher side so we say square root of five is slightly more than two right this is what we know it's very close to two since two square is four three square is nine and our number is a number square should be 5 so which should be kind of 2 point something square so slightly more than 2 is a good estimate so one way is you could uh, actually use instead of square root of 5 just the number 2 right so you can say well it is kind of close so we can use 2 here so you can say it is like 2 times 2 plus 1 I'm writing 2 instead of square root 5 and then you can kind of calculate this should be uh, 3 times 2 is 6. This number here, you could write this as 2 times 2 minus 1. So that is 2 minus 1 is 1. So that should be 2. And in this case, it is uh, 2 plus 1 whole square. 3 square is 9. And in this case, it is 2 minus 1 whole square, uh, which is 1. Kind of, right? So you get numbers. And these numbers can help you to arrange them from greatest to least. So 9 is the highest, so we'll write this here. We get square root of 5 plus 1 whole square as the greatest. And then the number first one given here, 5 times square root of 5 plus 1. And then this one, which is square root of 5 times square root of 5 minus 1. And then the last one, which is the least amongst these, which is square root of 5 minus 1 whole square. So that could be one way of doing it. The other way is you could rationally think over it, saying that square root of 5 is positive number, so which is greater than 1. So this part is positive. Here, here we have a smaller number. You're taking away 1. You are adding. So this is finally greater than that. Correct? The second option is when we say square, we are multiplying by square root 5 plus 1. In this case, we are multiplying by only square root 5. So that should be higher. So that gives us a logic that this should come before this. Right. Makes sense. Look here. At this point, we are multiplying by only square root of 5. Here, it is square root of 5 plus 1 which gets multiplied. So this has to be higher since square root of 5 is a positive number. Right. Now, same logic will go here. These are smaller numbers, correct? So you are multiplying 
two smaller numbers. So you get even smaller. Here it is square root of 5. That has taken away 1. So it becomes even smaller. So that logic also helps you to put them in order. So you can do by estimation or even by logic. You can just put them in the given order. I hope that helps. I'm Anil Kumar. You can always share and subscribe my videos. Thank you and all the best.